We are conducting our fourth The Future of Freedom consultation here in Tbilisi, Georgia. Um, and uh, our uh, theme is the artist and the tyrant, how to uh, fight for freedom uh, with art. Uh, the main part of our consultation this year is um, five workshops dealing with different art forms. The first uh, is uh, concentrating on music, the second on language, the third one on uh, TV, uh, film and video, and the fourth one uh, on performance art and uh, uh, visual arts is number five. In the world that we're living in at the moment where freedom is under threat and the rise of um, popularism and uh, the political parties and organisations that exist in the more extreme uh, directions of right or left seem to have this capacity to appeal to people's emotions and to people's feelings and so the idea of the seminar was to invite those of us that uh, believe in individual freedom and an individual choice uh, can find a way to um, leave our comfort zone of logic and reasoning and instead discover how we can appeal to not just the minds of people but to their hearts as well and what we were looking at was how we can do that through all the various forms of art that there are. Our participants, they come from all over Europe and uh, they represent uh, mainly our partner organizations from political parties, from civil society organizations and from uh, liberal think tanks. And of course, a large part uh, of the, the participants, uh, they come from various art forms and uh, they have used these art forms in their political dialogue with citizens and their struggle for freedom. One of the main elements of the consultation is that uh, we want people to inspire each other and to allow themselves to be inspired by others. So uh, we want their passion and uh, their love for freedom. When we first meet each other, often what we do is we talk about our we talk about our credentials, we talk about uh, our work experience, we talk about what gives us the right to promote the ideas that we have. But when we move away from talking about it to really sharing who we are, something different happens and something different emerges. And what I saw emerging was people's imagination and people's creativity and people's ideas. And then people started to connect. And I think that's really when we can connect with each other, that's when we can inspire each other to take action. Well, the main uh, goal of the consultation is to identify uh, new formats which uh, the foundation could use in their education programs and uh, formats which uh, combine um, um, art forms, various art forms, with our traditional approach, which is one based on uh, rational thinking and rational debate, uh, fact and figure-based uh, type approach. So to merge those two, um, to find uh, better ways uh, to our audiences. So we show 
photographs from the 70s and then the 80s from these two countries, Syria and Soviet Georgia, and we show how the life in that time was uh, under the dictatorship, so that the people do not forget what happened in the past, so that they get a kind of a motivation to continue to fight for freedom, because you have to fight for freedom permanently to prevent dictatorship and anti-democratic developments. So we have invited, for example, a cartoonist who is drawing cartoons about the political scenery here in the country. And this is something that we can show to the others from, from the other countries. And we had the idea to print some of these collages, some of these cartoons, and uh, show these uh, pictures as an exhibition. The ideal outcome would, uh, would be that we have uh, ideas which could be put into practice and then in the next step uh, maybe uh, tried out with target audiences, then maybe standardized and presented in a way as best practice uh, um, uh, examples for colleagues in the foundation in different parts of the world and of course for our partner organizations.